All right, we are live, brother. Come, come. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we're going to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who have ruled well and taught us this truth through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And salutations to the hopeful elect brothers out there pushing the same truth across the four corners of the globe as we see this place imploding upon itself in the new age of uh, Yasharala about to arise when the Lord comes and he cracks those clouds and the missiles destroy this place called America. All right. Um, going into this lesson, you know, you shall be hated uh, uh, of all men for my name's sake. So, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to get that scripture in the book of Matthew. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse. Uh, he started at 13. Okay, come. On. Verse 13, it says, And because inequity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's 12, but it's all good. It's locking my back. No, no, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's actually the key because when um all hell breaks loose, all right, which it's that's fast approaching, all right, you know, these people, hey, their, their love is going to be out the window. Okay, so they're going to. um be looking to point the finger all right you know uh, uh, um to say you know this is the problem you know this is why all these things are happening and they're gonna point to us like we're the bad guys you know hey even what was that uh in one of the um later uh, mission impossible movies right the um the quote-unquote you know like terrorist group that they were fighting against they were called what the apostles i forgot which one that was but i know it was one of the uh the latter uh Mission Impossibles, okay? And you see Esau, he's already programming, you know, the people to, um, you know, hate, I guess you could say, you know, uh, 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 you know, for, I'm using this loosely, you know, uh, religious people, man, okay? You see? You know, and, 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 and we're the ones that go the hardest, all right? Yeah, we, you know, they're going to persecute all Israelites, but they're really coming for the real men of the Lord, all right? You know? In particular, the men of Great Millstone. Because look, you know, IUIC, they, they're they watered down PC Israelites. All right? That's what it is. You know, ISUPK, you know, the same thing to Sakari. They're, they're, they're watered down Israelites. All right? Hey, the real prophets, all right, are amongst, all right, GMS, starting with the apostles on down. And those that teach, you know, uh, likewise, uh, uh, the likewise doctrine. All right? But keep reading, Ark. Okay. Uh yeah, back in verse, in verse 13, it says, But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yes, yeah, so look, we're going to have to deal with persecutions in this thing, all right? That's one of the things that we have to endure. And it's coming. You know, Esau has us under, you know, a, a top a, a hate group right now, okay? Even though we haven't done anything, wrong, you know, uh, 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 wrong, we haven't physically done anything to anybody, but we're, you know, up there. You know, we're, 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 we're all in, in the same category as uh, the KKK members, you got to really think about that. You know, they have us, you know, lumped in, you know, with these uh, uh, individuals. And those people, they, 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 they murder, sell, you know, drugs, all right, terrorize people. You know what I'm saying? We haven't done the thing. All we do is just go out there and preach the word, what the scriptures say. You know, hey, because the scriptures say, well, wait upon me. That's what we do. All we do is just preach this word. And, and, and just go about our business, you know, like we go to work, you know, handle business at the house, and that's it. But but now we're an issue. And the reason why is because it's a spiritual thing, you know. This word is a, a change in the people's minds, basically, you know. And Esau sees that as a threat, which really it is to his kingdom. But it's a, it's a spiritual thing. But technically, we're not doing anything physical, all right. You know, but hey, this guy, he has to lump us in with all these things so then he can have um, justification in his actions. You're right. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 22. It says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end, going back to that same scripture, shall be saved. So we have to endure all these afflictions, man. You have to endure all the madness of, of, uh, uh, of these people, all right? Because for one, it's not only that you're, uh, you're um, fighting yourself, you're also fighting them, man. You know, these, these are like the demons that couldn't get through to you, made manifest to test you outside in the physical world, man. All right? 
which uh, 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 we have th these scriptures to help us fight against that, man. You know, which sometimes, you know, you might have to say something, and the majority of the time, you do have to keep silent and just let people think. You, you basically, the, you have to learn how to win an argument without winning it. Basically, letting the Lord, you know, stand and, 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 and uh, be your lawyer at times. Because sometimes you can't even say shit. That's why even Yahweh Shai, when he got delivered up, you know, it says, uh, he, it even talks about in the book, in the prophecies in the book of uh, Psalms, how, um, he, he was a uh, as, as a sheep led to the slaughter. Yeah, he was dumb, you know. Mm -hmm. Meaning he 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 didn't speak, you know. When you, when when uh, when Pilate was asking him a few questions, he just stood there. Yeah. And then he would when he did answer anything, thou sayest. And then he just had his mind focused on what he had to do, man. You know that's what we gotta understand. We don't we don't control the outcome of anything. We only have a certain role that we can play, and that's that we're we're going to be. Uh, 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 hated if we are truly men of the Lord. Um, yeah, because we go against this uh, uh, present evil world. Okay, so that's why Esau is going to hate us, the heathens, two thirds of our own people, because really they're all in agreement with this society. Okay, they fought it in some way, form, or fashion. You know, and that and that's that. There is no other way around it. If, if look. If you really hate this place, because you'll have some of our people that disagree with things and they, you know, they want quote unquote change, but they still want to be attached to this system. You know, they, they don't really want to se sever themselves from this place. You see the elect, they have, they have the mindset of Yahweh Shai. Okay. And then Yahweh, what did Yahweh Shai said? I'm from above. You're from beneath. We're, we're, we're thinking past this place. Okay. We're looking for something far away better. All right. And you see, these people aren't, you know, they're low level, they're base. Okay. They want to continue in their folly still, because that's what uh, Esau allows these people to do. Okay. Hey, you, hey, cause this place is called what the land of the free, but they don't really explain what that means. If people think and assume that it means, oh, uh, you, you know, you're, you're free to do X, Y, Z, you know, you, you don't have, you know, you're not in slavery, you know, you, you can practice whatever religion you want. All right. Which that part is correct, because they allow you to, you know, you, you could be into uh, Satanism, Buddhism, right? Islam, Christianity, yeah, they'll allow you to do that, you know? But, but you know, uh, uh, but all these things go against the Lord. At the end of the day, you're free to do, you know, uh, uh, wickedness. Because look, even the Arab countries, even though they still go off, but they have somewhat of a, like a, a moral code to them. They don't like whores and, and homosexuals, yeah. man. Yep. You know, and it's funny because I just saw an interview. They had somebody uh, trying to uh, attack these Muslims. All right. There's, you know, a, a Muslim guy. And they're doing like some type of interview or whatever. And he was saying, they were saying that like, how, how are you going to say that you treat your women better? And pretty much he was just going into like, look, we don't allow our women to basically abuse themselves. All right. By giving them what? Liberty. Because all a woman does is, you know, get, get, get. Look at what the American woman has done with her liberty. That's all I'm going to say. All of them have OnlyFans. They get rotted out. All right. Left and right. They spend money. They're in debt. Like the one chick that uh, uh, I sent you that one video with that chick. How she's like, uh, what was it? 80,000 80, in debt. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. Oh, yeah. she And she was still proud. <laughs> wicked as hell. <laughs> doing, proud. doing tutorials and TikToks. Like basically she was like, fuck it. I'm just going to keep on going. Yeah. So th th that's why, you know, uh, uh, that's what he, th he was saying. Like, no, we, we make sure our women are taken care of. And they hate that. You know, uh, you know, th this Western world. But at the, at the same time, all these other nations, they're still going off, though. You know? But um, is there any more to that? Because I had something. Oh, I, can I grab this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got um, that Matthew 5. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, Second um, Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Yeah. And all that will live godly in Hamashiach Yahushai shall suffer persecution. Mm. All right? But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and men deceive. So, you know, uh, uh, you, you have people that call themselves Israelites doing this, you know, and then they're basically living the life of these other people, which is to come against anything that's telling them uh, uh, righteousness, any type of correction. All right? And, 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 and this world does that on... It's really effeminate as hell because... Here it is, somebody telling you something is this right, and the first thing you wanna, well, nigga, that's why your shoes busted. Like, what? 
Then what does that have to do with anything, man? But it just goes to show you the heart of these people is being made fat according to this world, man. You know? And that they're basically like uh, officers of this world when it comes to policing you. You know? Because like mm -hmm. the brother was saying, you, you don't have freedom in this country. You have free doom. The same that the, what was a crime in, in one country, and which is a crime against life itself, a crime against the Lord, you know, over here, you're free to do it. Yep. And these people are so stupid because the Lord's still going to jack you up for it. So you're never free from that. Yep, but, you know, this place, you know, instead of getting, uh, I'll say this, instead of getting that uh, instant judgment, so to speak, right, when you get caught, you know, the, the Lord, in a sense, uh, delays the judgment. You know what I mean? So that's why they believe they're free. You know, because hey, if you're a mo, you, you know, in this place, you, you, you don't get stoned, you know, immediately. They actually, hey, hey I'll, I'll turn you into a manager, bro. I'll help you start a whole business if you're a mo in this place. And what's so bad about it, they, the, the, the spirits on those people end up ruining those companies. Yeah, all the time, bro. <laughs> that's why everything's falling apart, bro. Moism and, and feminism. You know, but hey, that's a whole other lesson within itself. But point being, though, is but eventually that judgment comes, right? Hey, the Lord plagues them with some type of disease, cancer, you know, uh, 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 all sorts of relationship issues. They're all messed up. Good. You know, hey, the judgment always comes at some point. You're just living on borrowed time. That's it. But um, going, uh, I'm going to get this Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. It says here, and seeing the multitudes, he, meaning Yahweh Shai, went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, and taught them saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they are, they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see the Most High. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of the Most High. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye... When men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, which that's a, a, a huge thing because Esau is going to come down, all right, with this great wrath. And he's going to say, you know, um, a lot of uh, 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 false you know, statements, you know, he's going to uh, uh, mislead the people, you know, in, 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 in making us seem like we're the bad guys. Mm -hmm. Hey, they got all what um, all this. um. This AI um, technology, right? You know, we're, we're, what do they call it? Deep fake, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. All right, where they, they can, uh, they'll use your voice. And everyone's seen it, you know, where they'll, uh, uh, they'll take a celebrity's voice and they'll you know, make them say whatever, right? They're going to do the same thing with us, all right? And they, they can make, you know, uh, 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 damn movies, basically, without actually having people there. That's what Hollywood is funny because that's what um a lot of these um uh, uh, people in Hollywood them. are getting mad about because they don't even need the extras anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it, you know, they're just point. But you know, that's just you know just something random. But what I'm trying to say is they can literally create scenarios without you even being there, and they make it look real. They show you that in um what's that Total uh, Recall with uh, uh, Arnold, you know. They 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 made a whole they, they they basically made a whole scenario that was a complete lie, man. And they they put it on you know the you know the news and the television and all that, and the people believed it. The commoners, you see, and that's what Esau's gonna do to us. You know, this guy's gonna play real dirty, and it is what it is. Cool, do it. And it says, and ye shall. All Salakia, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. It says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And as the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, so if they persecuted the prophets of old, they're going to per persecute the prophets again. All right, you know, so this is why we're seeing, you know. GMS as a, a a hate group right now, all right. They they're gonna come after us. So be it. 
You know, it is what it is. A, a, the scriptures have to, all scriptures have to be fulfilled, correct? The, what, what is what does it say that uh, how some of us are going to be um, basically, you know, uh, 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 prisoned, you know, yeah. for those ten days? They which throw some of you in prison, yeah. Yeah. So he, he in order to be in prison, there, there has to be a reason. So he saw he, he's going to come down with that wrath, and he's going to he's going to be coming up with some BS, man. All right, and it is what it is. Um, do you got a scripture by any chance? Yeah, it's a little bit more to this Matthew's 10. Okay, calm. And it says, and, uh, and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth... Call it out again real quick. Matthew 10 and 22, it says, And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Mm -hmm. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. But verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Israel to the Son of Man become. So as we see uh, this happening... You know, that's how we know that the persecution has come because we, 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 we hey, the prophets are saying there's only really a few uh, prophecies left because Esau's been trying to come with this persecution, but he just like with the uh, the RFID and the um in and, and this World War Three, you know, it's pretty much gonna all kind of come at once because he's yeah. been he's been uh, uh, bringing out little uh little uh what's the word I'm looking for? I'll say little trial runs of of, of these things. But it's, it always goes sour. So he really, he's been bigging it up to this point where the Israelites did it. He's going to do it like, that's the reason why he's been even trying to, he even tried to mate the Muslim world with, with, with the Israelite thing, yeah. man. You know, because uh, people hate that. But it's going to come a time where, you know, uh, he, he's just going to say, fuck it. He's going to bring out uh, uh, these devices of austerity measure and, and having uh, uh, police streets, all right, as well as this chaos. And then he's going to all focus it on us. Yeah, it will you know um he's uh because uh, right now what's really uh damaging him is this internet okay you know the uh, uh with the quote-unquote freedom of speech so when he cuts this um this uh internet off that's gonna help him justify his actions now uh the only you know news source that's out there is you know abc fox news you know what i'm saying so on and so forth and they can put whatever they want out there, and no one can question it now. You know, because that will, uh, 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 every, everything else is what um, misinformation. And misinformation now equals terrorism. Okay, and terrorism is, is you know uh, against the state of uh, America. So we, in their minds, <laughs> you know, hey, we can't have that here. All right, you see, and these people, they're gonna. Be willing to point the finger at us and agree with Esau because their standard of living is going to drop, you know, tremendously. You know, they're going to be at most getting food rations. You know, there's going to be chaos all over the streets. So they're not going to uh, really care about what Esau says. They, yeah, yeah, he's the problem. All right. Hey, just get, give me some bread. Give me some water. They're going to be willing to uh, accept what this guy says. You see? Simple belief with every word, man. Yep. Hey, and the gift destroyed the heart. Yep. Verse that's their that, that's their daddy. You gotta remember that. These Edomites are, are, are the two thirds daddy, man, and pretty much the rest of the world too. That's their daddy. So they're not gonna buck up, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, against their you know owner. They're not gonna bite the hand that's gonna feed them. You know what I'm saying? Right now they are because it, you know we're we're in this uh, society that the tree uh, is still green. And they, they have the ability to, because really yep. Esau's doing that. Esau's uh, bringing out the mud slinging and the propaganda. You know, that's just, just like, uh, I really believe uh, the dude who doused himself with the gasoline and lit himself on fire, that he was uh, he was a ritual, all right? Like, meaning that, that basically they're about to end this whole political phase of having a president, you know, and, and both these two guys are on the same team. That's the only reason why they got exposed. You know, because we've been saying all this stuff for years. Why is it being brought out now? Is because he is about to bring a, a, a new system, man. And it's basically it's gonna be exactly what the brother said. It's gonna be well, we're you need us. Uh, fuck you. If you're not against these people or against this, then we're not gonna help you. If anything, we might kill you. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the, verse twenty four it says the disciple is not above his master, nor the mm. servant above his lord. It is enough. And that's uh, um. A heavy statement because look, Yahweh Shai went through persecution. He, you know, he had his trials and tribulations, and so uh, shall we. All right, we're not above our master. 
look, we're, we're going to go through the same thing, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Or similar things, you know? What did it say? They love not their lives until the end. Until death, right? Yeah. Hey, that don't mean like you just always in a pitiful case and you, you, you're down on shit. It's just a simple fact. In this society, you're not going to be happy because you the things that, that are well-pleasing unto you are uh, well-pleasing unto the Lord, which are not uh, pleasing unto this world. They're displeasing, man. All right? So you're going to suffer for that. That's why it says, all that shall live godly in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach shall suffer persecution, man. Mm. All right? Because you, you want to do this. And then, you know, sometimes your flesh is, is your flesh is against it, which is, you know, the only wicked thing really about us, all right, is, is that we give into this flesh and oftentimes because we're in it. But the fact that you have a spirit that is like Yahweh Shah, which is greater as he that is in you than he that is in the world, people are going to come against you for it, man. You know, who this nigga? fucking goody two shoes like here it is you just trying to live a basic life according to the lord and 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 and, 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 and honor the most high and then you got somebody that just don't like your ass man you know and sometimes they might they, they might pick up on it before you do or say anything you know because their spirits are really bothered by you they're wicked but this is verse 25 it is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they call the master of the house be else above how much more mm -hmm. shall they call them of his household now and in this world you know you kind of have to play dumb you know and, and still be peaceable with these people all right but in in the back of your mind you already know i already know what this guy's on i already know what this bitch is on you know they just trying to find a way to get me hemmed up or trap me up in my words and say i did this the reason you know when i had said earlier man in this lesson sometimes you can't even say shit to these people sometimes it, you know you be cool and then if they i was talking to you oh my bad i didn't even know you got to play dumb Oh, you give them the head now and just keep it moving, man. Just so you can have peace at the end of the day. Yeah, but it's best not to even really say too much. So these people can't figure you out, really, you know? Because they, they're, they're like the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. They're going to use, um, you know how they try to use Yahweh Shai's word to trap them up? They're going to try to do the same thing to you, you know? And what, what does Esau say when he arrests you? Hey, we, we will... Uh, Use uh, any and every uh, 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 word against you, roughly paraphrasing. I forget. Uh, using the court of law. Yeah, in the court of law, and that's how these people are. You know, hey, they, they they'll use what you say so they can you know bring you to HR. You know, let's say if you got a job, right? Um, where these people can you know rate you, so to speak, right? They'll they'll they, they, you know they, they'll say, oh, well, he did this or he said that. You know, in in their this complaint. You know, it's wickedness, man. But you know, point being though, they these people have the power to do it now, though. You know, and without proving anything, hey, that, that's the that's the most wicked part about this now nowadays. Like they can literally say uh, uh, stuff that uh, you didn't even do. Allegation. Yeah, and and, and they're actually, you know, um, in the right until until uh, you're proven uh, um, innocent. You know what I'm saying, so to speak. That's wicked as all hell. And but it, what does this uh, system say? Oh, you're innocent until proven guilty, but it's the other way around. You're guilty until you're proven innocent, man. This is why Esau's got to go, bro. This guy's got to go because his whole system is just demonic, man. And we're getting into a point where, the, it, 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 bro, the person who's doing wrong doesn't even get in trouble for it. You know, I was just listening to stuff on the radio, you know, with, um, with you know, just how these people are stealing things and all that. And it's just crazy how an individual. You know, uh, 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 let's just say like a security guard can get thrown in jail because he's trying to do his job. But the person that's actually doing the stealing doesn't even get caught up. Nothing happens to them. Actually, now they're getting um, um, rewarded, you know, because uh, 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 oh, you hurt them. They, they had a bruised uh, knee. That's just so fucking stupid, man. You know, and now they're emo they, they have emotional distress. So now they got granted $20,000. Like literally, this is, what, this is what's going on in the world. But this is how you know we're at the end because the wickedness is at an all-time high and the Lord's not going to allow this to stand for much longer. And that's really all they use certain um, protests for was to, to bring in a, a, what's the word, a dysfunction in society. It wasn't to uh, actually aid Jake at all, but it was really j just to let criminals run loose, you know? <laughs> and then Esau, he sees it first because he, he deems anything that's not him as a criminal. But, uh, you know, it, it was right. It was never for a justice system for Jake, because Jake's never going to get a right, uh, what's the word, um, 
a fair shake on the side, man. You're never going to get anyone to come and help you, man. Because it's supposed to be how about me, I was shy. But all that aside, they use that as a uh, as a cloak, basically to bring in disorder, man. Because this devil is always with a plan, and it's not it's not in the interest of the people, especially for Jake, man. All right, he wants to get police off the streets, and he wants chaos to happen and put military in the streets, man. All right, and all that's gonna come down when we get off the streets, man. Sooner or later, and that's when the persecution is really gonna start, man. That's when we're gonna be really more so hidden. All right. Just like he talk, it talks about those prophets that were, they were, uh, you know, they were, they were in the caves. You know, it was a lot of times the prophets went into hiding, man, and that's gonna happen again. All right, I, but that that account I believe was in the Book of Kings, man. You know that the, when the prophets were hiding in the caves, or when um, uh, who was it, Elijah? He was like, uh, behold, Lord, they have slain all thy prophets, man. All right, but the Lord said that there has been seven thousand. You know, really a completion. Of men that I have that I have set aside that have not laid their knee down to buy out, man. They're out there, trust me. All right. So all that to be said is that Esau, he's gonna well, it's gonna explain it right here. Verse 26, Matthew 10 and 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. So the most high is gonna he's gonna protect us in those times, but he's letting you know it's gonna come, man. You know, that guy that you, he didn't know you was an Israelite. He didn't know, he didn't know nothing about the videos about you out there teaching. But now, that sh they got your face plastered everywhere. Just like that, that, that Spider-Man homecoming, man. All right? Far from home, whatever it was called. You know? Long way from home. Uh, and, 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 and they, his face got plastered. Everybody just thought that he was a terrorist, man. All right? Well, that, those were allegories about really the prophets, man. If they're going to make us look like something that we are not. Shit, you could have some people that might step in and say in an interview, that's bullshit. They ne they didn't do this. But then, for the most part, you know, that's not going to get looked at. Just like the videos of us bringing out edification aren't going to get looked at. Yep. That's why he's been trying to take down the edifying videos and he'll just mainly have up all the propaganda. Or even the ones that he took down in the past that, that you know, where it was like, you know, it was, it, it was, uh, it could have been racy, uh, or, or, you know, so called not PC subjects and he'll splice it up. And he'll put those parts out there, and that's all people will see. Like, oh my God, why are these people? How yeah. could America allow this? <laughs> yeah, they uh, did that to the San Francisco camp, like years back. They had it on a uh, World Star. Somebody um was uh I don't know if it was all the same guy that was recording, um you know throughout like you know different camp sessions, but I just remember that some guy basically did a whole compilation on um, the San Francisco camp. And it was on World Star, bro. They got like millions of views. Literally millions of views. And it was like the, you know, the, the for lack of words, the worst of the worst of, you know what I'm saying? Of the brothers, you know what I mean? You know, but, they, but like how you said, they're not going to bring out, you know, when the brothers are calm, bringing out, um, you know, straight facts, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? How this, that, and the third. Live. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You know, hey, we expect these things. All right. Um, you got more today? Cause if not, I can uh, end it out with this if you want. It's um, actually real good for Rook 4. I'm going to read down to verse 28 and then I'm going to be done. I'm, uh, this is Matthew 10 and 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. That's why we're making this known, man. You know, especially for people who are newly coming in this or you need to be refreshed. Yeah, I'm an Israelite. People don't understand what that is. We're exiled Israelites trying to make it back. So with that, it's going to be a rocky road, man. That's, as, you know, it says in the book of Second Ezra, it would be as it was high water on, 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 on the, what is it, on the left hand and fire on the right, man. All right? That's the path that we're walking. And in danger of your overthrow with these people <laughs> is, is, is a part of that walk. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So we understand that uh, this 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 gospel is committed unto us, and we're supposed to want to do it willingly, man. All right, we understand that we're gonna suffer these things, but it's better to suffer this than to suffer for uh, for for the manifold uh, plagues of wickedness that are about to come on these people, man. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we're gonna end it off with this Baruch four. I'm gonna get a few verses from here. 
Um, this is a uh, Baruch four. I'm gonna start at twenty one. Be O good cheer, O my children. So like be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and He will deliver you from the power in the hand of the enemies. For my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you. And joys come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy, which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but the Most High will. Uh, will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, sh so shall they see shortly your salvation from our power, which shall come unto you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High Yahweh, for thy enemies hath persecuted thee, but shortly shall thou Thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. You see, this is what's coming. You got to uh, uh, suffer uh, these uh, uh, um, persecutions. All right. You got to suffer patiently. You know, you just got to deal with it. But eventually the Lord is going to uh, uh, give us the big W, man. All right. And it says, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock of the enemies. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Lord, Yahweh, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be returned, seek him ten times more. For he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. And see, that's what's coming, all right? That, that salvation. The same power that put us in this predicament is the same power that's going to get us out of here. That's right. You know? And it, I think you mentioned, um, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, he, he was talking to Pontius Pilate. And basically he said something, I forgot the uh, the exact quote of, uh, of what Yahweh Shai said, but he said something under the lines of, look, you can only do what the Father uh, um, has commanded you to do, you know? You, you've you only been given so much power. I know I'm butchering it, yeah. you know? You, can, you, you can't go past that, 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 that marker. Right, he said, don't you know I have the power to free these? And you can do nothing except the Father... From heaven have given you that authority man. yep you know and you see he saw he's only got so much you know authority in this world that eventually the yahweh shemal shai is going to stop you know this um this wickedness all right this persecution it's eventually going to cease and then we're going to actually you know be uh, delivered all right but hey we got to go through that straight gate in order to uh uh you know, uh, see the, the, you know, basically the, the light at the end of the tunnel, you know, we got to go through dark places, you know, before we actually, you know, uh, uh, get out, you know, it is what it is, but you know, it, 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 you know, this was just you know, some quick exhortation, you know, hey brothers, you know, uh, be prepared, you know, things are coming and it has to, you know, uh, happen, you know, don't uh, panic, you know, don't be afraid, don't get angry, whatever, you know. Hey, just remember that hey, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has uh, uh, has these things written that have to come to pass. But I'll say this: Hey, once Esau really persecutes the prophets, we're we're basically done, man. It's a wrap because <laughs> we're not going to be out there, you know, uh, 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 you know, doing this forever and ever. All right, but uh, that's pretty much it. So with that, you know, hey, we're going to end this lesson. Hopefully, it was edifying, and we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.